Hello everybody and welcome to Sim Guided, where today we're going to be looking at the fishing skill in The Sims 4. So, if you want your sims to become legendary anglers and masters of the rod and reel, you've come to the right place. To start with, if you don't have the island living expansion, the fishing skill will be one of the worst in the game. This is because sims completely stop getting new perks once they reach level 7 in the skill, while it has much less interaction for the player than other skills like gardening. The main highlights of leveling fishing in the base game are as follows. Level 1 allows your sim to place caught fish in their home as decorations, granting the confident moodlet when they're around them. Level 3 lets them use bait while fishing. Level 5 allows your sim to examine fishing spots to tell which fish can be caught there, and level 7 unlocks a mysterious fish for the sim to hunt down and catch. The release of the Island Living expansion improved the skill unlock significantly, as well as added new mechanics and fish for sims to catch. It allows sims to add fish to fish bowls when they reach level 1 in the skill, adds the ability to use fish traps to passively catch fish while your sim does other tasks, and unlocks various social interactions to allow your sim to share their knowledge and passion for fishing with their friends and family. Once your sim reaches skill level 10 in fishing, they also will have the opportunity to hunt down the legendary golden mahi mahi to cement themselves as a legendary fisher. If you really want to have a sim be passionate about fishing, you may also want to consider giving them the angling ace life aspiration. These will see them ultimately trying to reach fishing level 10, alongside catching a total of 20 different species of fish. Before your sims can catch all of those fish though, let's look at how fishing actually works. While there is plenty of water around most of the cities in The Sims 4, sims can only fish at spots located with a small wooden sign showing a fish about to bite a hook. Once you right click on that sign, you can select for your sim to start fishing, which they will do until they either fall into a bad mood or you cancel the action. You can also increase your chances of catching specific fish by choosing to use baits like plants and smaller fish when you start casting. Once you catch a fish, you can cook with them, mount them in your house, or sell them. If you plan on cooking them, however, make sure to do so before you have them for 24 hours, as they can spoil. It is also possible to not catch a fish while fishing, and instead catch treasure, which can be objects like potions, fruits, or even upgrade parts for your kitchen appliances. That's everything you need to know for your sims to get out there and start angling. So make sure to check out our other tutorials, and good luck hunting down the golden mahi-mahi.